The scene opens on the decaying ribs of a once grand ship, the Leviathan, now home to only shadows and silt. Another current, another pointless loop. What's the use of swimming, of eating, of existing at all in this? This, watery purgatory. He nudges the can with his snout, sending up a cloud of silt. Pushed around by the current again? Pathetic. Salmon jumps back, startled. Who said that? Show yourself. I'm trapped, you imbecile. Within this. How ironic. A prison of sardine. Trapped? What are you? A being of immense power, naturally. Reduced to this. This culinary cage. What could a fish like me possibly do? I can barely navigate this current, let alone. This can. Pry it open. Release me, and I'll share the universe's greatest secret. A reward for your troubles. The universe's? You're serious? Would I jest at a time like this? Hurry now, before some more, optimistic soul stumbles upon us. Salmon hesitates, then throws himself against the lid. Metal groans. Finally, with a screech of metal, the lid bursts open. Free, centuries, centuries have waited. And to think, a creature who despises existence itself set me loose. The irony is, delightful. Salmon, bleeding and exhausted, sinks to the silt. Tired already? The universe's secrets await. Don't tell me you've lost your sense of purpose so soon. Thick strands of kelp, swaying ominously in the current, obscure the already murky water. I, I never imagined, freeing you would involve so much. Exertion, are you sure this mouth of truth exists? Or is this another one of your, crude amusements? Amusements? You wound me, dear Salmon. Knowledge, truth. Those are the only things that truly amuse. Though watching you struggle is a rather delightful bonus. Behold, the gateway to despair. What are those? Some kind of, growth? Oh, those? Just the embodiment of all your deepest fears and existential anxieties. We call them the shadows. The shadows, as if sensing their presence, begin to writhe and moan. We, we can't go near them. Can't you feel it, that emptiness? Empty? My dear Salmon, they're overflowing. Overflowing with the delicious agony of existence. It's exhilarating. He darts toward the shadows, his laughter echoing through the water. Wait, don't provoke them. What's wrong, Salmon? Afraid they'll swallow your precious angst? Don't worry, there's plenty to go around. He circles back to Salmon, who cowers, his body trembling. Come now, this is just the appetizer. The main course awaits. And trust me, you wouldn't want to be late for that. With another burst of speed, he disappears into the darkness, leaving Salmon no choice but to follow, his heart pounding a frantic rhythm against his gills. The water clears slightly as the kelp forest gives way to a more open area. I, I can't believe we escaped those, those shadows. Their despair, it was suffocating. Despair is the natural state of things, wouldn't you agree? Consider it a palate cleanser. A preparation for the true taste of, meaninglessness. Speaking of which, Perched on the highest point of the coral, her form shimmering with an ethereal light, sits the siren of contentment. What? What is that? A beautiful melody, soothing and ethereal, begins to emanate from the siren. That, my dear Salmon, is oblivion masquerading as bliss. Tempting, isn't it? Salmon, mesmerized by the siren's song, feels a strange sense of peace wash over him. Come, let go of your burdens. Embrace the peace that awaits. Don't listen to her. She's poison wrapped in a pretty melody. But Salmon barely registers Jinx's words. Jinx, seeing Salmon slipping deeper into the siren's thrall, acts quickly. The siren, caught off guard, cries out in annoyance as the silt disrupts her song. The spell broken, Salmon jerks back as if startled awake from a dream. Foolish fish, you almost joined her collection of the happily vacant. I, I don't, what was that? A warning. A taste of the seductive lie that true happiness awaits those who simply stop questioning, stop striving. But fear not, Salmon. The mouth of truth awaits. And it has no such saccharine illusions to offer. The river slopes sharply downward, leading to a gaping chasm in the rock. No light penetrates its depths. That, that siren, her song, it was like a forgetting of everything. A forgetting. Yes, that's one way to describe it. An appealing one for some, I imagine. The mouth of truth. Ask your questions, Salmon. Demand your answers. Hesitantly, what do I ask? What do I seek from this emptiness? Jinx, for once, offers no clever retort. His voice rising in frustration. You promised. You promised knowledge, truth, meaning. Was it all a lie? Another one of your cruel jokes? Quietly, even I, 
even I seek answers, Salmon. That is, perhaps, the joke. Silence settles between them, broken only by the river's muffled roar. Softly, more to himself. The journey, the struggle, the constant questioning, that's all there is, isn't it? Freedom, meaning, it's not something given, it's something, earned. Without another word, Salmon turns and swims away from the mouth of truth, leaving Jinx behind. Jinx watches him go, his expression unreadable. The faintest hint of a smile, wistful and melancholic, plays around his lips. He is alone again, but the silence for once does not seem mocking. It simply is. The end.